Now we take you to the cutting edge of breast implant surgery and a controversial new silicone implant nicknamed the gummy bear. For medical and more commonly cosmetic reasons, hundreds of thousands of American women get implants each year. And after decades of uncertainty about the safety of some of those implants, one new model has women flocking to the doctor's office with questions. And ABC's David Wright goes in search of answers. In the ongoing quest for perfect breasts, some say it's the holy grail. Hi. I'm Dr. Stevens. I'm Aubrey. Aubrey Chacon has come to Dr. Grant Stevens for a do-over. I want gummy bear boobs. Mm -hmm. Gummy bears, a funny name for a different type of artificial breast. Dr. Stevens says gummy bear implants look and feel more like the real thing. This is a Sientra uh, gummy bear breast implant. More than 300,000 American women a year undergo cosmetic breast surgery. Some of them, like Aubrey, for the second time, because the first time, she didn't like what she got. I would like something that felt more natural, more like this is my body and, you know, um, not so fake. You want something that's fake that doesn't feel fake. Exactly. Demand for cosmetic breast surgery has tripled over the past 15 years. It's literally a billion-dollar industry now. But Aubrey is among the many women who report their new breasts feel unnatural. Others report leaking or sagging or hardening. Many women have to go back for new breasts in fewer than 10 years. But according to Dr. Stevens, the so-called gummy bears are different. So this is the new, new thing. Why? Well, the gummy bear breast implants are new to Americans. They're cohesive gel and they're form stable. They keep their shape. The new implants, approved for use in March by the FDA, are marketed by a company called Sientra. Sientra doesn't like the term gummy bears, neither does the FDA. But through pamphlets like this, Sientra touts them as implants that keep their shape even if they're cut in half. Dr. Stevens cut one in half for us. It was sticky. Mm -hmm. But you can turn it upside down, it's not going to go anywhere. Right. Which is why he gave these implants their catchy nickname. They act like gummy bears. Let's call them gummy bear, bear breast implants. You coined that term? Uh-huh. For years, these high-strength silicone gel implants have been available in the U.S. They're wonderful. Only to patients willing to take part in a clinical trial through surgeons like Dr. Stevens. But breast surgery is a sensitive subject. Whenever any new product is introduced, there's a real question of right. safety. There have been problems in the past. Here in the U.S., there was a moratorium on silicone implants for about 20 years, given concerns that ruptures might increase the risk of cancer. Europe is now in the midst of a full-scale recall of implants made by a French company, PIP, using industrial-grade silicone. Though the risk is unclear, thousands of women are having the implants removed over concerns they tended to rupture. You see this silicone gel bleed that we always tend to always get on these VIPs. But the FDA says it is confident these newly approved Sientra implants are safe after an eight-year clinical trial involving 1,800 women. So you're a car accident. That's, that's direct trauma, right? Right. Dr. Stevens says the new implants not only look and feel better, they're tougher to rupture. Why don't you go ahead? Let me see if you can break it. From this very unscientific experiment, they do seem pretty sturdy. It's going to take a lot more trauma than you're going to, your chest would withstand. Dr. Grant Stevens swears by the gummy bear, but others say not so fast. The FDA approval of these new devices is contingent on follow-up studies to make sure they're safe over time. 